Okay, here we go. BCA 101. This was Friday. 10, 28, 16. And we talked a lot about the web today. First of all, we did a WebEx. All the students logged in, and we didn't cover all the features, but um, we set it up in class today. What we used it for is I used WebEx to look at a processor. We have a machine open, and then the students, the students then actually, they took the processor out and put it back in. So the students got first-hand use of that. So we used WebEx to demonstrate that the camera looking into a PC, took the processor out, showed them how to do it. Then the students did that and put the processor back in. Then assignment four, there are some videos that talk about PCs and web pages, PCs, and the web, and other things there. So the students are going to view those and then create a report. So it's really open to the student to figure out how they're going to report what they learned and then the objectives are listed in the assignment. So the objectives are a key thing there. Then we did web access. We actually created an HTML document and we loaded it up on a server. More on that in a little bit. And then later on we looked at a website. We use goingyumbo.com. That is a gaming company who de developed a new game. And it's how they are distributing information about the game. So we went to that, we looked at the HTML, we talked about the fact that they used WordPress to design it, and we looked a little bit at some of the features in that website. <clears throat> a few particulars now. <clears throat> we have a Linux work server that the students have access to. We created this student with this password and we use that as a demo in class and each of the student used their own. Okay, So on the PC we created an HTML document with tags and then we saved that to the desktop. And then we took that from the desktop and we uploaded it to the work server into the public HTML directory. A couple key things. That document, we named it index.html. And you notice no caps. There's the dot. And it can't be a text, you know, it can't be a dot txt either. The name has to look just like this. So in Notepad, we had to save as, a, as a, another file and not save it as a text file. All right. And so we used, to make the copy, we used win secure copy to move the file. Talk more about that in a little bit. Then from the browser, we could view their website. Then we used this to edit it. Okay. Page. So win SCP, secure copy, we use this local private address, we entered the user, and we entered the password. Then we had a pane that showed us the PC, and then another one that showed us the server, and we were able to copy files between the two securely. All right. Now, if you were going to do this remotely, this would be the same, this would be the same, and instead of this address, you would use the 207-165-226-185. Okay, so we're going to talk about that here in a minute. <clears throat> so. We've got the internet here. 
and you can be connected at home and there you can use that 207 165 226 185 number to access the work server here at NIAC so that would allow you to access the work server here at NIAC and there's there you could adjust your web page okay now if you want the public to see your page they could access it using the number 207 the public IP address 165 226 185 slash tilty your last name first initial slash and then that should cause your index file dot html to show up as long as it's in the public underscore html directory on your site more on that this coming week that's it